All right, here we go, everyone. Week 11 Supreme. Uh, congratulations to anyone who got in store. It looks like this week's going to be semi-decent. few good items, but nothing crazy this week. And it is a collab with Lee Quijones, who I believe is a graffiti artist from New York, but originally born from Puerto Rico. Or he is just Puerto Rican, I don't know which one it is, but I'm kind of sad based on which graffiti art of his, because I looked him up, looked at this graffiti art, kind of sad about which item Supreme chose to use on the clothes. But anyways, starting at the tops of drops by J, instead of Supreme Community, you got the Lee Skateboard for $66. Now, this board, I think, is kind of lazy. It's on Supreme Community, I think it's like 50-50 or people actually do like it, but I think it's kind of lazy. I think if they chose to put, instead of the green thundering background, like the actual print from the shirts, from the shirt or shorts, that would have been nice with the, the ape and everything. That would have been pretty dope. But uh, with that said, I can't really see spending $66 on the skateboard or it having much resale at all. Now you got $128, you got the Lion Regalon Baseball Top. Now this thing is just hideous and I don't see it being very popular. Then you got the $138 Lion's Den shirt. Like I said before in the beginning of this video, I would have liked it if they used different graffiti. So this will also be a pass. And then you got the Lion's Den Painter shorts for $158. Another pass for me. Most of the collab stuff I don't think is going to hit very well. I think a lot of people are going to go more for the lookbook items or more of items that aren't lookbook items, but they're just simple supreme things. Then you got the squirrel hooded sweatshirt for $168. This is the one item, if I was to get something, it would probably be this piece, mainly because it's part of the collab. I think the squirrel and the gun is kind of a cool concept. It looks pretty dope on the front, and on the back it has... The autograph of Lee Kionis, I believe. Um, if I was to go, I'd probably go for a black or a white. They do have some spring colors in there. But for $168 now, seeing the price, that changes everything for me. It's definitely a pass. And that's why I like to wait to make these videos for you guys. Because once you get the price, it kind of rules out what you think is hyped or not hyped. And then you got the Yard Hooded Work Jacket for $248. That's definitely sleep. $168. You got the yard carpenter pants. For these, I don't even know why you would even think about buying these. Because you could go buy Dickies f for like $15, $20 at Walmart. And then you got the $298 Lion's Den denim trucker jacket. Which is another just pass. That's It's just, I don't know. The graffiti all over that trucker's jacket is just... Kind of ridiculous. Most hyped item at $28 is the jar set. This set will easily, I think, go for double retail for resale. And I don't know. I'm kind of digging it, but I don't know what I would put in it. You know, I live in an area where it, weed and stuff is recreational, but I don't really smoke. So I don't know if I'm going to get it for me personally. If I was to get it, I would probably resell it. And I should, or you should, expect resale to be at least double. And then you got the $48 Classic Logo 6 panel. These aren't really that bad, but the hats in general aren't doing well this season. You got the $48 Reflective Tab Camp Cap. Now, these things are by far one of the worst hats I've seen. They have, like, the pocket, and they have the gray tab on top. It just looks ridiculous. $64 She Rain World Famous Umbrella. The umbrellas Supreme hasn't done in a minute or in a long time, but an umbrella like looking like that in red or green, definitely nope, not happening. $78 Athletic Label SS Top. That's a definite pass. I don't, it's just too plain for me personally. I think if you're trying to get a Supreme shirt, you should go with something else. Uh, $118 work shorts. Now, these, definitely not. It's just not happening for me. Like, 
the other work shorts or carpenter pants. I don't know why you would spend that type of money for those. The $138 Jackard Lobo Crew Neck. Now, this thing is one of the items where I'm like, it is pretty dope. I don't know if I'd buy it because it's a little too crazy or loud for me because it says Supreme all over. But it is a dope piece and I like the way Supreme did it. And I think a lot of people as well do. Will it have resell? Possibly maybe around the 180 range. But I wouldn't expect resell to be crazy this week at all. $158 Gons logo couches. Uh, no, not couches. Coaches jacket. These are just too plain for me. But I like what Supreme did with the colors all of a sudden midway through or towards the end of the season with the orange and purple. Then you got the $158 sleeve embroidery sweatshirt. For $158, um, I'm kind of 50-50 on the fence because for me it's just, again, another piece that's thrown in this week but it's too plain for me to personally want to rep it or... I don't know, even if I resell it, I don't know how much value will be actually there. Since I think people right now this season are just buying things that say Supreme or that are dope previously from this season or from last season or anything like that because they're kind of getting bored of not copping Supreme and they want Supreme. Like the North Face uh, Supreme shirts I got. Those were complete bricks until all of a sudden now everybody wants them and they're, the resale values are going up pretty recklessly fast every single day. But with the last item on the list, you have the $128 leg embroidery sweatshirts. For $128, these sweatshirts better be a better collab. And they're not even a collab. They're embroidered sweatshirts that say Supreme down one of the shorts. I like them a lot since they're embroidered and the way Supreme did them. But I'd rather get the the sweatshorts when they come out that, that have the champion going down the side just instead. Because if I'm going to pay $128, it better be a good piece that I actually want to wear or that people really want to resell. Like $128 for sweatshorts, again, like the sweatshirt, I don't know if there's going to be that much resell just because of the fact that it's at that price. Yes, everybody gets it's embroidered. Yes, because of that reason, all these Supreme heads, which I'm going to call Supreme Hype Beasts or Sneaker Heads or whatever, want to get it. But I don't think it's going to go crazy on resale. And if it does, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, and if you're watching this in the morning, congrats and uh, good luck. This morning at 11 a.m. Eastern or 8 a.m. Pacific, to see what you're trying to get or trying to cop what you're trying to get and I think the jars out of the whole collection this week will go extremely fast I expect them to sell out in maybe eight to ten seconds so if you're trying to get that or really want that you should just pay the resale price and just sleep in to be honest with you but peace <laughs>